this week we have a really unexpected video for you. We've just come out for the day to Mitchett Canal Centre and the Basingstoke Canal and as we were approaching it occurred to me that it's been almost five years ago to the month that Peter was moored here and he was planning to set off on his travels. Peter's here with me so I'm going to ask him to take a trip down memory lane and talk to us a bit about the Basingstoke Canal, what he knows of it, and also how he felt about being here five years ago and what things he did in order to prepare for moving out of his house and onto a boat full time. So now over to Peter. So this is the Midget Centre on the, uh, on the Basingstoke Canal and as Marianne said, I came down here as my first destination when I picked the boat up near Rugby. We came down the Grand Union and then up the River Thames to Weybridge and then down the, the Way Navigation, which is run by the National Trust. So I had to get a license for that and straight on to the Basingstoke Canal, which is actually run by Hampshire and Surrey County Councils through the Basingstoke Canal Authority. <clears throat> so I got a license for there. Um, it's an interesting canal, quite challenging. It suffers from low water, uh, lots of trees which have a habit of falling into the water and dropping tons of leaves in the autumn. Um, but anyway, we got here and the reason is that it's about a mile and a half from my house, well flat technically, uh, which I was preparing to be ready to be let. So I stayed here and while well, I was popping back to the house to sort things out. If you come on the Basingstoke Canal you have to book passage through two sets of locks uh, either side of Woking and it's every other day someone will come down and manage it and you have to do the whole flight in a six hour period. So it's, uh, it's quite busy. Um, then you're on to this the, the, the upper level here. Um, and I decided one day that we would go on through from, from Midget, which is near Farnborough, through Fleet and on to the village of Odium. And more there because we were going to a tango event. Um, and I came in originally through this swing bridge you can see behind me uh, and moored here and then I went on a little further and you go over an aqueduct over the new bypass road that was put in, well it's not new now, some years ago um, and very close then into Farnborough <coughs> and I came to a pair of bridges in fact uh, a road that I've driven up and down probably thousands of times and it was a typical road it was quite a, a narrow two-way road with a little humpback bridge over the canal and then they decided to make it into a dual carriageway and added a second bridge but because the canal was closed the second bridge was just flat and when I got there I found that I couldn't get underneath it I would have had to dismantle the cratch and possibly take the brackets off that, that were mount that hold the solar panels. And I had a brief word with the authority people and they just said, well, it's not going to get any better. And they said, if you're having trouble with this bridge, the next one in fleet is just that little bit lower. So I had to go back to the nearest turning point, which was just over two miles behind me. And um, the canal wasn't wide enough to turn, so I had an early lesson in reversing. And over the next two and a half hours, I slowly, slowly worked the boat backwards, experimenting with all kinds of different things and to work out a way of moving. And uh, then I was able to turn round and I came back to this, this spot and I stayed here for the rest of the visit. So um, all that happened in 2018, uh, in May, June. I did think about coming back here and 
2019-2020, I called them and asked if they did winter moorings, but they don't. <laughs> um, possibly because it is just, it, they do struggle to keep this going. The, the staff work very hard at, at clearing fallen trees. Um, as I say, the leaves make a difference. Any you know, boaters of you will know that if there's a lot of leaves in the water, if the water feels different, the boat doesn't move as, as easily. Uh, and also they get clogged around the propeller. So you have to keep going into reverse briefly to shake them all off. So um, they have so many difficulties that they have people who live here all the time on their boats and they do take visitors, but they don't do winter moorings, which is a bit of a shame. I, 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 I would try it if they, if they allowed it. Perhaps when we go in the office, we'll ask them if they've changed their minds yet. But um, yes, so we're going to have a look around the spots we're at and uh, have a look in the office as well. enjoyed this week's video showing you a brief glimpse of the Basingstoke Canal and I hope you've enjoyed listening to Peter telling you how it was like five years ago for him. Basingstoke Canal in my opinion is a very pretty one and if you ever get the chance to visit, visit it either on foot or by boat I think you'd find that it was well worth it. We certainly did anyway. week's video I'm hoping will be about the installation of the new tiles. That is due to happen imminently and I'm going to be avidly videoing it as it happens. So thank you for watching and commenting if you do. I would really appreciate that. I enjoy reading your comments. So until next week and next week's video, 